We all love a good border. They're great on headers, footers. We love them around buttons. But one thing that I really love to use borders on is images. I think it really elevates a design. If I'm missing something in a section, I think, okay, maybe a border will sort me out. It's my get out of jail free card when I'm thinking on the spot. So what I want to do is show you a really simple tutorial on how to elevate your images and really help your sections pop on Squarespace. And that is simply how to add a border and style it with a small snippet of CSS. Okay, so I've just got finished recording another tutorial. Thought, why not just leave this mad background in? In case you're wondering, it was the divider tutorial, which is very exciting. But then I thought, okay, let's pop an image on this background. Both really garish images. Do we want to separate these somewhat? And I thought to myself, I think a lot of people are going to think the same when they have a loud background image and then they have an equally loud uh, foreground image. So let's say you have two weird images like this or even two images on a white background with a standard image. I'll show you an example of that as well. But to differentiate them, we're going to want a border. So we call this code image border. What we want to do is grab the block ID of this image. So what we need to do is use Squarespace ID Finder, which is the plugin by Heather Toby that I always mention. So if we go to here and click ID Finder, we've got our block. So we copy that, paste it in here, open our squiggly bracket. Then we want to do border solid, get one px, and then call it white. And you'll notice that this puts a border around the block itself. And in Squarespace on classic sections, the block has a small bit of padding. So the image has padding around it and to, to the end of the block. So what we want to do is either say padding zero, which basically exp expands the image, or we want to get rid of our padding and then open up Chrome Developer Tools hover over the image to find the asset class. It is image block wrapper. We grab that and then what we do is we paste into here, image block wrapper. And that just tightens it up around the image itself. Super simple to do. And obviously we can do customization options. So we can make that 10 px for instance, if, if we really want to make it stand out. Or say, Red. You can play around basically with colors and size. If you wanted, we we'll give it a border radius, just give it some curvature. Completely up to you. But once you've got the, the target, you can pretty much do anything you want to the image. So that's a really simple tutorial, but I think that's going to help elevate your designs if you've got two loud contrasting images. The other way to use it is to create a simple section. So I'll just create a blank section. An image, let's just pop this in and we'll drag that to the side. Yeah, let's just make it smaller, super long. So we've got a standard image on a standard background. What we want to do is play the block ID of our old with our new. So make it stand up just a tad more. And you can see it works the same on a super blank background, like nothing going on whatsoever as it does here. Well, actually you can't see the comparison, but it can really be a design tool that you use to elevate a section where you think that you could use just a little bit more to bring just that something extra to the section. Nice, simple design element, but it is really effective and it's a super easy code to do. If you want this code, it will be in a blog post that will be linked in the description below. And if you did find this useful, please leave a like, hit subscribe, and look at all of the other Squarespace resources in the description below too.